honest, I wish married. I asked her for the marriage. But you look sweet, a boss, the feet of a boy, she could be with her. The Chart of Truth got its start on 4chan's X board as a way of ranking conspiracy theories, as well as keeping track of all the inside jokes and kind of meme theories that are on X. These gained popularities in the mid-2010s. The one I found surfaced just last year, and although it's a bit more amateurish, it's certainly the most detailed one I know, so it's the one I'll be using. I may skip a few pieces that I think are completely redundant to talk about, but without further ado, let's get started with Tier 1. Momo gained popularity as one of a string of phone numbers which you would text on WhatsApp and then they would uh, make you do dangerous challenges, sometimes leading to small children being traumatized. For a while this was only popular in Spanish-speaking communities. Uh, it became so serious in fact that Mexico uh, created a flyer and an official warning of what to do if your child was contacted. It blew up in 2018, 2019 as, as more and more children found the, the bird lady on YouTube and told their parents. This culminated with the revelation that it was in fact a sculpture made by a Japanese artist. Momo then flooded into the mainstream with silly 3am videos aimed at kids, short horror films with millions of views, and then really dying off after uh, Saturday Night Live made a sketch about it. Momo can be compared to older urban legend like the Blue Whale Game, or newer ones like Jonathan Galindo or El Ayuwoki. These all kind of follow the same idea of a creepy phone number you text which then makes you do challenges. This is a wide group of theories that boils down to the idea that the medicinal community is out to make profit through nefarious uh, ways. Most people who subscribe to Big Pharma are also anti-vaccination and believe in alternative medicine. Examples are the pharmaceutical industry hiding a cancer cure for profit and more tame ideas like the price gouging of painkillers and insulin which leads to crises like the opioid addiction we see in America. Needless to say, uh, the saying itself spawned uh, a new popular prefix from what I can tell of big, which can be added to any other large industry and beyond, so big tobacco, big gun, whatever. Uh, it's become a common usage used by major politicians and world leaders alike when tackling uh, pharmaceutical cause crises. Well, everyone and their mother knows who Slenderman is these days, however, I'd like to talk about the stabbing surrounding the legend. On May 31st, 2014, two 12-year-old girls in Waukesha, Wisconsin, held down and stabbed a classmate 19 times. When questioned later by authorities, they reportedly claimed they had wished to commit a murder as a first step to becoming proxies for the Slenderman, having read about it online. It's quite scary how a simple urban legend can devolve into motive for murder. It's a really scary topic to dig into. Not to mention the dozens of petrifying slender-based games. I, I don't know why, but these, these always scare me. Fine. <laughs> Genetically modified organisms is any organism whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. So this mostly relates to food, like fruit or vegetables, which are altered for longevity or to taste better. The conspiracy side of this mostly comes with mega corporations like Monsanto, who profit off pesticides and who many believe add unnecessary chemicals for money. Others believe these corporations, or the government themselves through branches like the FDA, add chemicals for mind control or simply money. It is true that major lobbyists are detrimental to the FDA in their stance on excessive GMOs. Others believe that GMOs are sacrilegious as they are distorting the process of growth created by God. Pope John Paul II said on GMOs, they must be submitted beforehand to rigorous scientific and ethical examination 
to prevent them from becoming disastrous for human health and the future of the earth. There have also been disputes on whether the wheat used to make the sacrament is allowed to have GMOs in them. Safe to say there's plenty of controversy around this massive and misunderstood topic. A very popular way of thinking, mostly associated with right-wing beliefs, although it can be found on the left-wing too, climate deniers believe that climate change is a hoax. Following the line of belief that carbon is essential for all plants' life, which is true, and therefore carbon is not polluting the atmosphere, but helping plants grow. More go even further and say that there is not enough carbon in the atmosphere, and that there is a true catastrophe that everyone is ignoring. Evidence includes certain ice caps growing, and so-called hoaxes like the Mid-Atlantic Garbage Patch. Another very dense topic which is widely known, so I'm not going to blab on about this. This is a book and a film adaptation which propagates the idea of manifesting, where if you believe something will happen, it will probably happen. Promoted by the likes of Oprah, it fits into a long line of self-help books, although this one has more spiritual and esoteric followings, and it's a kind of gateway to more intensive manifestation and even magic. Hypnosis self-help is also included in here, using similar methods. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One-sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common. On, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same things that simply aren't true without checking facts first. first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 A term made popular by Donald Trump. Very well known, so I'll give my own two cents. I think there are two kinds of fake news. Blatantly fake news, which spreads on Facebook, like claiming someone is dead for clicks. And then there is more sneakier fake news, found on sites like CNN and Fox, which twist facts to serve a bias. I think we should be weary of all of these. This is probably referring to the large anti-vax movement which has grown especially popular in recent times with weary mothers, with their main concerns being the links to autism and certain ingredients like mercury found in most vaccines. Heavily linked with more recent COVID-19 deniers, some go as far as to claim that these vaccines are purposely harmful to control the population, with fingers often being pointed at Bill Gates and his nefarious uses of African children to test vaccines. This is the kind of dream where you are aware you are dreaming and have control over what's happening. This is practiced by many people, as some see it as a form of entertainment, and it allows you to dive deep into your subconscious. For example, when lucid dreaming, if you look into a mirror, what you see is a version of what your mind thinks of you truly. There are many different techniques to inducing lucid dreaming. This is often linked with more extreme practices like astral projection. This is the idea that some shapes have sacred meanings to them, and that God designed the world using arithmetic. These sacred proportions are used in the design of churches, mosques, and other holy buildings. The belief that man was created, rather than evolved from a more primal species, which usually coincide with religious beliefs, one of the most hotly debated topics this millennium, 
from progressive creationists to neo-creationists and everything else. One of the oldest documented beliefs in a classic debate. Have you ever seen something and swear it was always a different way? Famous things like Luke, I am your father, the Berenstein Bears, Nelson Mandela's death in the 1980s, the hyphen in Kit Kat, the cornucopia in Fruit of the Loom? Well, none of them exist. They are all false memories, most would say. However, many believe there's an alternate explanation for this. Some saying that at some point, we traveled into an alternate universe where everything was similar, barring a few small changes. It would also explain the worldwide collective agreement on certain things. This theory relates the idea that one day technology will advance to a point where it becomes uncontrollably smart and powerful. The idea is that an upgradable intelligent agent will eventually enter a runaway reaction of self-improvement cycles, each new and more intelligent generation appearing more and more rapidly, causing an explosion in intelligence and resulting in a powerful superintelligence. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappeared on the 8th of March 2014, flying over the Indian Ocean and has yet to be discovered in the nearly seven years since. Theories as to how it went missing range from the massive amount of batteries on the plane to hijackers to suicidal pilots. One theory claims that someone killed all the passengers and pilots, then remotely piloted the plane through the Middle East into Ukraine where it was shot down. This would explain MAF-17, a plane that shot down in the same year. Some say the flight never existed. An interesting coincidence is that the coordinates of where the plane last made contact are the polar opposite of 9-11's ground zero. If a tree falls in the woods, no one sees it. Did it really fall? A succubus is a kind of demon which descends upon men as a seductress, gifting them their wildest dreams while corrupting their soul. Supposedly, this is how Pope Sylvester II came to power. Before he died, he confessed this with his sins. Scientists tried to explain succubi away, claiming kinds of vivid sleep paralysis, but a community of followers still as popular on 4chan and other corners of the internet. Claimed by many to be angels, these orbs usually show up in photographs. The scientific explanation for these are that they are photographical anomalies. When these orbs show up in different colors, they can signify different things. Orbs are electromagnetic energy fields that contain angelic energy, which appears to humans in the form of light. Angels sometimes use orbs as their vehicles, as we would use a car to travel from place to place, because orbs are in especially good shape for angelic energy. Ever look into the sky and wonder why planes leave what looks like a trail of clouds? Well, according to this theory, the government is in fact spraying chemicals from these planes to control the population by poisoning them, or even mind control. Many photos of these supposed chemicals are shown when these are actually just water tanks to simulate passenger weight for test flights. At least, that's what the government tells us. The official line is that these are contrails, which are streaks of condensed water made by a plane at high altitude. A 2016 survey of 77 atmospheric scientists concluded that 76 out of 77 scientists that took part in this study say that there was no evidence of a secret large-scale atmospheric program. This suggests that there are a small portion of atmospheric scientists that have evidence of something along the lines of chemtrails. This is the name given to the investigation of the famous English serial killer, Jack the Ripper. Modern suspects range from members of the royal family and even women. Some accounts from the Bible can be interpreted as aliens coming to Earth, or even alien abductions stopped by Jesus himself. These include the ascendants of Eliah to heaven and Zechariah and the flying scroll. This is the theory that there is a whole other civilization inside Earth. Atop many historical ideas of civilization inside the Earth, Admiral Dick Byrd supposedly flew into the Earth during an expedition and his findings were censored. Openings can be supposedly found all over the globe, 
also known as Planet X. It is believed that this planet is found beyond Neptune. Some astrologers claim it is a moon of Neptune, while others say it is its own planet. An apocalyptic event is predicted to happen where Nibiru spins out of orbit and a kind of planetary pinball will happen, with Nibiru crashing into planets in our solar system, leading to the destruction of Earth. Almost every day, new videos are uploaded claiming Nibiru can be seen. There's a very odd community of followers who constantly set dates for Nibiru to come, which always end up being wrong. This is referring to Sisida 3301, an online puzzle ARG, alternate reality game, which ran for five years, with insanely cryptic challenges on their website. Linked below is a full rundown of the mystery, because it would just take me too long. An aura is an energy field emitted from all living things, usually seen as a glowing colour around a person, which each colour meaning something. Red being passionate, yellow being cheerful, purple sensitive and intelligent, orange creativity, green kind, brown hard working, and grey being negative energy. The list goes on. A 16th century plague doctor who became a seer. He wrote over 900 quatrains making predictions. One of his most famous predictions was 9-11. Another talked about three antichrists which would descend on Earth, one being Napoleon, another fitting the description of Hitler. The next is yet to arrive, some believing it was Saddam Hussein, others saying it is Donald Trump. According to, and I quote, the false trumpet concealing madness will cause Byzantium to change its laws. Possibly the most famous ancient lost land written about by Plato, supposedly located in the Mediterranean, out in the Atlantic, or even in northwestern Europe. Some say proof comes from J.R.R. Tolkien's writings, which supposedly come from documents he found during the Great War, claiming that there were lost lands like Atlantis. This, of course, led to his writing about Middle Earth. More rational believers say it was the Azores and the surrounding drowned land. A step further from lucid dreaming, this is the process of inducing an out-of-body experience. The idea is that your astral body, or your soul, can leave your body and travel to other places to experience other souls and anything else found on the astral plane. Practiced from the 18th century to this day, it still has a very little scientific backing but a large following. This is referring to the Dyatlov Pass incident, in which nine Russian hikers were found dead in mysterious circumstances. These were a group of experienced hikers led by Igor Dyatlov, who arranged to go on an expedition over the northern Urals. Their journey commences and one of the group returns due to health issues. Contact was lost with the group in early February, after they were waylaid by snowstorms and had deviated west. It was agreed that contact would be made on February 12th after the group made camp on the slope of a mountain. After zero contact, a search began on the 20th of February, and by the 26th, the group's tent was found. The searcher that found the tent stated it was half torn down and covered with snow. It was empty, and all the group's belongings and shoes had been left behind. They had cut their way out of the tent and fled wearing only socks, or in some cases a single shoe, or even barefoot. Remains of a small fire were found. Two bodies accompanied it, dressed only in underwear. Branches of the tree above the fire were snapped up to five meters high. Had someone climbed it? Three more bodies were found, frozen in poses that looked like they were returning to the camp. Two months later, four other bodies were found, dressed better than clothes of the other group members. Had they given the clothes willingly, or had they been taken after their death? Six had died from hypothermia, and three from physical trauma. 
some found in very little clothing. The main theory, and the one that Russia came to a conclusion a few years ago, is that an avalanche struck. But why were they in such little clothing? Not to mention the rips found in their tent and the radiation found in their clothes. Some argue it was an attack from the native Mansai people. Others say the uranium found in the mountains led to their poisoning, while others say there was a full-on nuclear testing that led to their demise, hence the cover-up feel from the hasty initial report. Donny Eicher, author of Dead Mountain, believes that a wind caused an infrasound that caused a panic attack, leading to their odd decisions and demise. An explanation for the undressing is that when hypothermia sets in, the cold begins to burn, which can make someone take off their clothes believing they are very hot. This is certainly a very intriguing incident, with new theories constantly being made. Simply the belief of the significance of the number 23. This is related to the law of fives, as 2 plus 3 equals 5. The evidence for this can be found in some books, such as the Illuminatus series, although a lot of it is coincidental. The first moon landing was in the Sea of Tranquility, 23.6 degrees east. 23 plus 6 plus 3 equals 32, which is 23 backwards. The second landing was in the Ocean of Storms, 23.42 west. Not to mention that these landings were called Apollo 11 and Apollo 12. 11 plus 12 equals 23. Shakespeare was born on the 23rd of the 4th, 1564, and died on the 23rd of the 4th, 1616. 9-11 was the 11th of the 9th, 2001. 9 plus 11 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 23. I could go on for a while, but we have a lot to get through. Suffice to say, the coincidences start to pile up and become worrying. There is a worrying amount of children and hunters going missing in America's national parks and wilderness. People believe that kidnappers use these as hunting grounds, while some theories, like those shown in the recent Missing 411 The Hunted, believe there is a creature or animal at prey here. I believe this is a misspelling of fluoridation, the process of adding fluoride to water to help fight tooth decay. These days, it's seen as unnecessary by many countries due to the mineral in toothpaste and bottled water, as well as the minuscule damage it can do to you, like calcifying your pineal gland, where some conspiracy theorists say the third eye is, and by staining your teeth. It causes even more damage to those pregnant, Theories range from fluoridation for mind control, for simple profit, or as a way for Cold War communists to break the American morale. This is why some countries have moved to stop fluoridation. In 1961, President Kennedy promised to land on the moon by the end of the decade, and by 1969, NASA were getting desperate. You all know by now the theory that NASA faked the landing. From the many photographical anomalies to the astronauts' differing accounts, did they go up and just circle the moon, fooling all of mission control as the film Operation Avalanche believes? Or was there a grand conspiracy throughout NASA and the government to film it? And how was Stanley Kubrick involved? And this is still one of the most hotly debated conspiracy theories of our time. Famous for supposedly holding aliens or alien technology, this one has been done to death. If you want my two cents, I think it's one big red herring of an airbase. The amount of attention the base gets, the military would have been pretty stupid to keep anything groundbreaking there for this many decades. Satanic ritual abuse. Now this one is associated with a lot of theories, but the main cases are those like the McMartin Preschool, the longest and most expensive trial in American history. Over 300 children have been abused, with some allegers claiming that they had seen witches flying they had traveled in hot air balloons, one child identifying Chuck Norris as one of the abusers. The allegation that tunnels under the building were used for abuse still comes up in many theories, like Pizzagate. The McMartin preschool trial caused a chain reaction, closely linked with the satanic panic of other preschools being accused of similar things. Others such as disgraced radio DJ Jimmy Savile 
and former Prime Minister of the UK, Ted Heath, have been accused of satanic ritual abuse, which opens up a whole new Pandora's box of satanic ritual abuse in the UK, dug up in investigations like Operation Utree. We all know the playwright William Shakespeare, but one of the oldest conspiracy theories can be attributed to his authorship. The Oxfordian theory claims that Edward de Vere wrote the poems and plays attributed to Shakespeare. Other theories question his religion, his sexuality, and his likeness, seeing as the only portraits of him are interpretations. The Max Headroom incident was a TV hijacking where a man dressed as TV character Max Headroom appeared on the screen during an episode of Doctor Who. He made jokes about the station, got spanked, and then Doctor Who resumed. The culprit was never found. It gained a cult following in recent times due to its bizarreness. This is the idea that when an online persona or account is created, like a Facebook page, the things put up on there, truth or fiction, will seep themselves into your life like a virtual voodoo doll. A hyper sigil can be created through a story, a song, or anything created that can extend one's persona. A thrust performed in martial arts, it's also the name of an alternate reality game known as the Tsuki Project or System Space, popularized in 2017, loosely based around a popular anime. Now there's many videos digging deep into this ARG, I don't find it insanely interesting, but uh, it's readily available on YouTube. This stands for Majestic 12, who are supposedly a secret group of top government scientists who were brought together by executive order from President Truman to recover and investigate alien aircraft, believed to be found in Roswell, New Mexico, where a UFO was found. A theory that claims that important dates such as 9-11 are constantly referenced in the movie Back to the Future and Back to the Future 2. Other predictions include the election of Barack Obama, the Chicago Cubs finally winning the World Series, and the date of the Arab Spring. Now, I try to be as open-minded as I can in this video, as uh, I'm a bit of a conspiracy theorist myself. However, this one just ticks me off and it, it really makes no sense to me. This theory purports, and it's widely believed by a lot of the public, that professional wrestling is in fact fake. That's right. When you see John Cena punching Randy Orton, he isn't actually punching him as hard as he can. He's simply punching him for the show of it. They also believe that these entire wrestling matches are scripted, predetermined, and just put on for show. Now, this one really makes no sense to me. I suppose you can look it up for yourself, but I think it's kind of ludicrous and honestly dangerous. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I have to tell it to you guys anyways. Wicca is a 20th century adaptation of paganism, which is an occultist religion. They are duotheistic, worshipping the triple goddess and the horned god. Softer versions of Wicca, like the 21st century witchcraft, have become very popular through the advent of the internet. They still celebrate traditional pagan festivals like Samhain, Lunasa and Bialtana, all from Celtic paganism and others from Germanic paganism. This is Carl Jung's theory relating to the collective unconscious, which attempts to deconstruct our conscious and unconscious mind by showing different aspects of human nature in the mind. This is very tough to explain concisely, so I will hopefully uh, link below to a, a better explanation from a more qualified person. This was supposedly an alien which logged onto 4chan to chat with us Earthlings. There have been countless threads of this kind, but Mizium is remembered for its eeriness and the supposed photo taken from his ship. This is to do with the Eagles hit song Hotel California and its many interpretations. One is that it's based off a hotel in San Francisco, which Church of Satan founder Anton DeVay bought and started his movement in. Others say it is about addiction. Don Henley of the Eagles says it's about America during the 1970s in general. One old tale says the song's lyrics came from a patient at a California mental hospital. Now, this seems to be a kind of misspelling of archaeology. There's a few typos on this chart, and please, if anyone can find out if archaeology with a K um, is anything different, please uh, let me know. But from what I can tell, this is simply a typo. Of course, archaeology is the study of human activity through recovery of material. 
and there are some conspiracies surrounding archaeology, like forbidden archaeology. Digs that are censored or even hidden because of what they may uncover about ancient civilizations or perhaps even aliens. This is an esoteric movement which fuels societies like Golden Dawn, believing in the occult. They take inspiration for both Judaism and Christianity. Alistair Crowley was a member of Golden Dawn and he published and popularized their hermetic magic rituals. Hermetism comes from an ancient Greek god called Hermes and the Egyptian god Tho, which together make Hermes Trismegistus, the father of hermet hermeticism. Um, <laughs> this is all too tough for the This supposedly predicts the rise of Christianity. These esoteric writings were important during the Renaissance and the Reformation. This refers to an optical phenomenon which is used to explain away UFOs and cryptids caught on camera. The idea that the Earth is flat dates back to pre-biblical times, and for a long time it was assumed to be true. In the past century, flat Earth has seen a resurgence in popularity through the internet. A sub-theory includes that the flat Earth society is a government psyop to spread misinformation. Some believing that the flat earth theory as a whole in its modern form is a psyop. This of course being a psychological operation uh, made by the US government or any world government for that matter. Either way, flat earth has been successful in rapidly indoctrinating people through YouTube and other sites while making others reaffirm their beliefs in a round earth through their ideas being challenged. One of my favorite conspiracies this one spins the tale that Paul McCartney of the Beatles died in a car crash in 1966 and was replaced by the winner of a Paul lookalike contest. After being filled with guilt and grief for covering up their friend's death to save their careers and keep the fans happy, you must remember this was during the fanatic Beatlemania, the members began communicating the truth through their lyrics and album covers. Some examples, at the end of Strawberry Fields you can hear Lennon say, I buried Paul, which they later claimed was cranberry sauce. And on Abbey Road, you can see a funeral procession is depicted with Lennon dressed in white, uh, symbolizing the heavenly figure, Ringo Starr dressed in black, symbolizing the undertaker. George Harrison in denim represented the grave digger, and McCartney barefoot and out of step with the others symbolizing the corpse. This is a thought experiment linked with Schrodinger's cat, which can falsify any interpretation of quantum mechanics other than Everett's many worlds interpretation by means of variation of the Schrodinger's cat thought experiment from the cat's point of view. Quantum immortality refers to the subjective experience of surviving quantum suicide. This concept is sometimes conjectured to be applicable to real-world causes of death as well. If anyone would like to tell me what that really means, I'd love to. Um, I had a tough time swimming through this Wikipedia article, um, so uh, take from it what you will. But it, again, it's readily available online to any of you quantum physicists out there. This refers to the Bilderberg meetings, where globalism feels at home which are an annual private form of the world's most powerful people, from shadowy financiers to world leaders. The current head of the Bilderberg Group is Henri de Castries, former CEO of AXA, one of Europe's largest insurers. It is purported that they discuss agendas for the world and other nefarious ideas, with theories about these Bilderberg globalists being spread by Fidel Castro, among others. This theory, which may easily get this video censored, it's about Comet Ping Pong Pizza, a family pizzeria in DC. Often mislabeled, believers say the owner, James Alafantis, is a pedophile who runs children with elites. A lot of evidence for this comes from emails from the DNC leak, mainly pertaining to John Podesta, former White House Chief of Staff and the campaign manager for Hillary Clinton in 2016. Other evidence includes singer Majestic Ape's comments while singing, Anyway, here we are together, and you all are, are very grateful that you are below a Subway sandwich shop. Yes! And Jerry is known to hang out down here. He likes the world 
sounds. Tamales. <laughs> and little boys. And children. I think I was his manager. No. <laughs> 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 anyway. And James Alafantis's more than concerning Instagram page. Again, a lot of these are very tough to find because of how censored the Pizzagate theory is. Some go as far as to say that they use a system of tunnels which span Washington DC to link Alafantis to his Pegasus Museum, a highly secretive building which has many questions around it. This theory culminated in a shooter coming to the joint with a gun, firing shots, which drove the theory underground. This theory has many layers, but one stream of thought is that there are many parallel universes, generated by decisions made. There is an alternate universe for every scenario, for everything that could have happened, and some saying that these are all happening simultaneously right now, but travel between these universes is not possible, for now. This theory says that the Bible contains coded language which predicts cataclysmic events. It uses ELS, equidistance letter sequence method, where you read every fourth letter backward from any starting point. And you can find sentences like, Destruction I will call you, cursed is Bin Laden and revenge is to the Messiah. One of history's most famous occultists, he tried to restore paganism in a modern form with many of his teachings centering around magic, or magic as he called it. One sub-theory I'd like to discuss is Crowley being Barbara Bush's father. Pauline Pierce visited Crowley when he was performing a sexual ritual to ascend the ranks of a magic order, which was in need of a woman to perform. Eight months after the visit, Pauline gives birth to Barbara Bush, who goes on to marry former President George H.W. Bush. George Bush's main justification for war in Iraq were to change Saddam Hussein's authoritarian regime, take his weapons of mass destruction, which were a threat to world peace, and that didn't exist, and to continue the war on terror, which began after 9-11, which had nothing to do with Iraq. This theory says that America invaded Iraq to gain control of their oil fields, and to make sure the new regime traded in a US petrodollar, not to mention Vice President Dick Cheney and his ties to Halliburton Oil. This has become somewhat of a meme in recent times, but there's certainly truth to this theory. Skinwalkers are a Native American legend, a witch that changes their form into an animal. These came into the spotlight through the Skinwalker Ranch, where many sightings have been reported. Goatmen are human-like creatures that are mainly found in Louisiana and Maryland. Some say he was a man who kept goats and went mad after teenagers killed his flock, driven to seek revenge against any youngster. But perhaps the most titillating version traces the origin of the Goatmen to the Beltsville Agricultural Research Center, a sprawling USDA facility. In this version, a mad scientist is conducting experiments on a goat when something goes horribly wrong, turning him into a half-man, half-goat beast that is, naturally, hungry for blood. A secret society that holds some of the most powerful people in the world, including 15 US presidents, tracing their origins back to the 14th century from stonemason fraternities, they now operate in lodges all over the world, often linked with the Illuminati and other shadowy organizations which are purported to run the world. No women are allowed into the Freemasons. One must believe in a supreme being, and the discussion of religion and politics is banned. So what do they do in their meetings? Many lower level lodge members mostly just socialize, but masons at high degrees have serious power. Some claim they take initiation rituals that leave them open for blackmailing. So there's a sense of trust as you know that your secrets can be revealed. Ether was one of the first gods in Greek mythology to be born out of the void of chaos. And it's also the name for the space that fills the region in the universe above the terrestrial sphere like the air that the gods breathe. This region was used to try and describe phenomena that scientists were yet to comprehend, like gravity. Rocco's Basilisk is a thought experiment about the potential risks involved in developing artificial intelligence. A quick warning I'm adding in here while editing. This is an information hazard. So if you know it, it may cause uh, 
danger to you. So just a quick warning. If something like that causes you anxiety or, or worries you, I, um, I would implore that you skip on to the next one. The premise is that an all-powerful AI from the future could retroactively punish those who did not help bring about its existence, including those who merely knew about the possible development of such a being. This is in relation to the technological singularity where computers become so advanced that they become smarter than man, and from there can rule over them. One of the first openly gay directors, Anger has made many cult films, including Lucifer Rising and Scorpio Rising. He's a follower of esotericism, said he was aligned further right than the KKK, and was friends with the founder of the Church of Satan, Anton LaVey. Still alive, he's a very interesting character. An out-of-place artifact is found in a context that makes no sense historically. Some examples include the Saqqara bird, supposedly a glider built in ancient Egypt, the Shroud of Turin, a supposed depiction of Jesus Christ from the Middle Ages, and the Abydos helicopter, which is a hieroglyph that may depict a modern helicopter. Kill Switch is a supposed survival horror game from 1989 made in Russia, which was meant to delete itself. Half ARG, half creepypasta, many still claim that this game really did exist. This is a parasite which can enter the body through raw meats or cat feces. Toxoplasmosis is especially harmful in pregnant women with many claiming seriously psychologically troubled children can be chalked down to toxoplasmosis burrowing in their brains from childhood. Many claim that those who have one or more cats have gone crazy from this parasite. This is a board which allows people to contact the undead through letters and a plinth, which became the inspiration for many sleepover games and horror film scenes. for many sleepover games and horror film scenes. This stands for East Area Rapist slash Original Night Stalker. Also known as the Golden State Killer, his identity went unknown for decades. He would call the local police station taunting them, including one bone-chilling call in 2001 to one of his victims, decades after his crimes, saying, Remember when we played. In 2018, DNA evidence revealed that Joseph James D'Angelo was the EAR and ONS and was sentenced to life. This is referring to the videos made by Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, the Columbine shooters. They talk about their plans to shoot up their school and are some of the most highly sought after pieces of lost media ever. In 2015, it was announced that all the basement tapes had been destroyed some of their contents were well documented on paper. Some believe that these tapes have evidence of more than two shooters, hence their destruction. Also known as the Holocene Extinction, it's an ongoing eradication of many flora and fauna at an alarming rate. Humanity has been noted as an unprecedented super predator, but don't tell Joe Biden that. The Denver International Airport one of the most troubled and expensive constructions in airport history is subject to countless conspiracy theories. Their big project during construction was to build a massive underground luggage belt system, which was one of the largest earth-moving projects in American construction at the time. It was plagued with problems and after countless failures was soon closed after its opening. Many believe these tunnels were built to smuggle drugs, children, or any other nefarious activities. Another part of the theory comes from the artwork scattered around the airport, some paintings depicting Nazi stormtroopers, and a 32-foot blue Mustang with glowing red eyes, which killed its own artist. This brings extra suspicion toward how big of a part high up elites had in the construction of this very special airport. 
targeting successful college men all over the Midwest. This theory spawned from retired New York cops who found many discrepancies in the drownings of men. Drowning being how the smiley face killers masquerade their murders. With graffiti of smiley faces found near the dumping areas alluding to this gang of killers. There are two fundamentally different kinds of radio, FM and AM, which fall in the bracket of longwave radio, and then there's shortwave radio. Shortwave radio has to be more explicitly tuned in. One of the weirder reoccurring trends with shortwave is the number station. Stations that broadcast a seemingly random series of letters and numbers, sometimes accompanied by call signs or short musical tracks. The uses and purposes of these stations are highly debated, many thinking that they're providing coded messages to secret service agents in foreign countries. Others have theories, thinking that perhaps their function is to jam or otherwise interfere with other radio broadcasts. The general air of oddness that surrounds synthetic voices reading numbers seemingly at random has led to a plethora of paranoia, even stretching as far as accusations of brainwashing or mind control with the radio activating implanted triggers and sleeper agents. Although no country has officially admitted to being behind any of these stations, many former intelligence operatives has explained their purposes as being to communicate with spies covertly. Many cultures and folklores have tales of human-like lizards and giant reptiles. It's in Africa that we get the first modern stories of reptilians. Explorers from Europe claim that an ancient, perhaps extraterrestrial race of lizardmen built cities and civilizations lost to time, such as the ruins of Great Zimbabwe. These claims were published in many science fiction stories back home, but were quickly forgotten and ignored until with the UFO abduction panic of the 60s where victims reported abduction and experimentation by these reptilians all across the US. This got entwined with stories of government cover-ups of aliens and led to some theorists hypothesizing that the lizards were using the government to mask their existence and influence over mankind. British broadcaster and conspiracy theorist David Icke published a book in 1999 titled The Biggest Secret he claimed to have evidence that these shape-shifting reptilians came from the system Alpha Draconis, whose world leaders are in fact lizard people in disguise, such as the Bushes. Justin Bieber, who was supposedly seen transform in an airport in Australia in a surprisingly harrowing article, Elvis Presley, there was a famous video of him shifting, and the royal family. This is the most recent and popular incarnation of the theory, with 4% of Americans expressing at least partial belief in Ike's claims. Also known as photographic memory, this talent of recalling passages or events near perfectly happens mostly in children and almost never in adults. Rigorous studies carried out have supposedly disproven that anyone actually has long-term eidetic memory recall. Hypertemesia is similar, where you can recall parts of your life in great detail, but not anything external. Many try to train themselves into getting photographic memory as it can harness real power when used correctly. These are rocks and grains which have been held together by molten plastic, caused by modern campfires and other forms of pollution. It's said that these plastic agglomerates will survive for a long time, which people in the future will use as evidence of our pollution. The Smoky God is in tandem with the Hollow Earth Theory a book that talks about an explorer who visits the civilizations inside the earth, with the smoky god being the inner sun that lights their world. This is a 16th century map that depicts many areas of the new world, as well as supposedly showing some of the Antarctic coast, an area which would not be discovered for another 300 years. This 2016 phenomena began in the US, with many people dressed as clowns prowling the streets at night, some with weapons. This spread worldwide, and all of a sudden almost every city and community had a story spreading around about how clowns were kidnapping people. 
I remember the hysteria personally. Some theorized that this was viral marketing for it, which then spread to laymen looking to scare people, while others believing it was a coordinated mass hysteria program to kidnap children or invoke instability in the country to avert their attention from other goings on. Deceased rapper XXX Tentacion's few years in the spotlight saw him skyrocket in popularity with his dark lyrics and emotional songs. The first pointer to X's dealings with the devil is in the ever-mysterious song Red, also known as Soul Eater. This is one of his most sought-after lost pieces of music, which allegedly talks about killing his own mother and summoning demons. It was posted to Reddit for a short amount of time in 2015 and has not resurfaced yet, but is constantly being leaked on YouTube. However, these have all been proven to be fake. Not to mention the countless testimonies from ex-girlfriends and friends alike claiming he followed the occult, and many of his songs show his obsession with demons. It is said that after countless attempts at angering the devil, he was killed by these demons. See, and I, bro, that's the point I'm trying to get to. Like, when I was in jail, I got to the point of learning how to astral project. I got, I got into the point of learning how to meditate. I got into the point of learning how to see which energies I'm using in my body. I got into the point of knowing all of that shit. What do you think happens after you die? If you didn't get it right, you're gonna come back. Known as duendes, these are an important part of Spanish and Latin American folklore. The Spanish term duende originated as a contraction of the phrase dueno de casa, or duende casa, possessor of the house, and was originally conceptualized as a mischievous spirit inhabiting a house. Here we see some supposed footage of duendes roaming the streets of Mexico and Argentina. This was a supposed UFO sighting in the Chicago airport a decade and a half ago. A flying saucer was seen speeding through a cloud, which then left a hole in the cloud layer. This is one of the more famous modern UFO sightings. Also known as brain in a vat, this is the idea that a brain can be kept alive in a liquid, using a computer to stimulate the brain into thinking it's in a body going about day-to-day -day life. This leads on to the theory that you yourself may just be a brain in a jar whose world is created with a supercomputer. This is also linked with the simulation reality theory. Since Mayor Amal Rothschild founded his first bank in Frankfurt in the 1760s, the Rothschild family has been a driving force behind international banking for over 250 years. Using this money, they became greatly influential in world affairs, such as enabling Britain to purchase and build the Suez Canal. It was this fame and fortune, along with the Rothschild's Jewish faith, that caused the first of the Rothschild's many allegations of conspiracy. A pamphlet published in the 1840s accused the head of the Rothschild family of being present at Waterloo in 1815, and upon seeing Napoleon's defeat, he scurried to England and made billions on the stock market before news of the defeat was announced. This catapulted the family to conspiracy theory superstardom, with supposed theories through the years ranging from covertly funding Hitler's rise to power to causing the 1997 East Asian financial crisis. Nowadays, most well known for the theory of the New World Order, which alleges that the Rothschilds, along with other Jews and globalists, are attempting to undermine world governments through manipulation of media and banking. And finally, for this episode, the Rockefellers. Coming to America from a Baptist German family in the early 1700s, they lived for many years in relatively mediocre finances, until 1870, 
when John D. Rockefeller founded Standard Oil. The company exploded, quickly becoming one of the largest oil companies in America and the world. Using this money, he invested in many other things such as the arts, stock, real estate and just about anything else. One of their pickups along the way was the Chase Manhattan Bank, one of America's foremost banks at the time. Following this, the Rockefellers became deeply involved in banking and politics, such as Nelson Rockefeller, serving as the governor of New York for many years and vice president under the Ford administration. It's this connection to US politics and US banking that led many people to point fingers at the Rockefellers over the years, such as a claim that the Rockefellers installed Stalin in the Soviet Union and conversely a claim that they caused the collapse of the USSR in the hope of buying up Russian resources. They're also commonly lumped in with various secret societies such as the New World Order for their international and wide-reaching influence on finance and politics, as well as the internationally shady matter they conduct business in. So, that is it for episode one of The Conspiracy Iceberg. Um, thank you all for listening. I will be back at some point with uh, the next tier of this massive iceberg. Um, do bear in mind that not everything I got in this video is 100% correct. Um, I'm dealing in conspiracy theories here, so I, I can't always be true. Please correct me in the comments for anything I got wrong. Uh, I will try to give as many resources as I can in the description. Uh, also, any suggestions on how I can better produce these videos, please let me know. So, I'll see you next time.